did the thing happen? Did he actually like reboot it and it broke? <laughs> Rags, I don't want to be I don't want to be stuck life. on this video forever, Rags, please. <laughs> no, I don't either. I'm Should we just like we'll just carry there is he's missing yeah. nothing. Yeah, oh, right. there he is. There you are. It's basically one big futuristic science fiction allegory of the Vietnam War. I do what? what? It's an allegory for the what? Vietnam what? War. How is that? How is <laughs> how is it an allegory? Oh. Yeah, the Viet Cong. That was, you know, the equivalent of giant aliens hordes of aliens. <laughs> what in the what world the are you fact? saying? What are you what? smoking? That's that is absolutely ridiculous. That is such. I can't believe that he said that. That's <laughs> insane. So, like but, uh, the his father referencing Vietnam basically amounts to absolutely nothing. There's no reason for it to get mentioned. There's no. It, it's just. It doesn't amount to anything. And then he he, com he creates these connections. Like, there's like, oh yeah, the whole movie's like an allegory for the Vietnam War. And I'm like, that's a thing that you say is parody? How can you possibly say that about this <laughs> film? Like, you know what? The Vietnam War with all of its complexities, you know, it's about as straightforward as a, a horde of aliens. <laughs> from I can't believe you showed this. But this is what I mean. It's like someone's probably going to be like, see, it's satire. It's like, oh my god, I need a, like a cheat code at this point because I cannot fucking yeah. tell. Yeah. <laughs> We have unfit civilians being forcibly called up to arms to fight an invisible war that masses protest as not- What do you mean invisible war? That's, so, is it not an uh, allegory for the Iraq war, or the war in Afghanistan, or like any number of wars that people protested? I, I'm annoyed at how low the bar for allegory is. It's lame. Yeah, the, the bar for allegory is people get drafted to go to a war that people oppose. So all wars, like all <laughs> wars. <laughs> There's a mouse that all, has to anything. battle a cat. It's like it's Vietnam. <laughs> like I don't understand. It's like it is. I have a I have a ficus in my living room. That's basically an allegory for the Vietnam War. <laughs> stop it, please stop it. Not uh. ours. A war that in actuality is going so terribly that the full extent of it has to be censored. Okay, but why don't we- Fucking- what, uh, Vietnam tell me. War was not censored though. The Vietnam War was known what it was. That's why so many people were opposed to it. Well, also, tell me which war has both sides revealing every aspect of it during the war. Like, mm -hmm. why would- It's it like, I see, it's Vietnam specifically. We have pictures or videos, you know, would help us to know what we're up against. The yeah, that would be. Yeah. Well and will succeed. Uh huh. What? Wait, that's what? How do you possibly draw these lines? <clears throat> I'm, I'm lost I... again. I... Man, rain her tea. <sighs> oh, yeah. Like as everybody said in the chat, Vietnam War was not censored. It's like, yeah, that's why people were opposed to it because they saw what was actually happening. Like, so it's completely disanalogous. Maybe it's the... Uh, you know, be beyond the big alien, like, horde <laughs> that like, destroyed no, no, the world. alien, the, 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 oh. the alien horde that needs to be exterminated. They got and that part course, right. It's everything big... else that is like, ugh. I feel like the big party missed beyond the alien horde is like... So the issue with Vietnam was it was like a war about like politics specifically like about ex you know spheres of influence around the world the future war in this film is about saving humanity as we know it it's not the same <laughs> like, I, oh, you have to oh, save what? humanity from communism what is this though? meme hold on what's mm. this meme <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what's great about this meme is and correct me if I'm wrong chat but it's most people who haven't seen The Office don't know what the actual, like, meme format actually is, so... The, um... The joke, I'm pretty sure, is that the girl on the bottom is setting up the scenario on the top, where she's gonna show... pictures to a person, and the person has to figure out the difference, and then she yeah. says, they're the same picture. That's the joke? Yeah, she... Is that they can't yeah, tell that. Yeah, she confirms that. they're the same picture. It's the, the creed, right? The meme... I think so, yeah. The, the meme has now evolved into, like, I can picture people are probably like... She's the dumbass who thinks that they're the same thing. 
like you know, like like the context of the meme is actually very different from how a lot of people probably understand what's happening in yeah. the meme. Uh, still, fucking works great either way. Uh, it's just interesting to me to <clears> think <throat> about. Like manga when you I read it from the other end. Mm. Uh... So yeah, back to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you guys have anything else to say about Vietnam, you know, because obviously it would come up when talking about the Tomorrow War, naturally. Tomorrow War, yeah. <laughs> touch on PTSD, we touch on desertion, you know, we go to another period of time that may as well be a different planet. We have... <laughs> um, <laughs> is this, I mean, is this... Not, I mean, I don't know, it's not... It's I, not is like that, that, is that the, the deal? Series. Vietnam, it's like a different planet, you know? Like, sight... <laughs> It's completely uh -huh. fucking invalid if we're literally going to be like a, a hellscape war zone. You know, it's kind of like a different place than my comfy suburbs. Like, yes. Like all <laughs> wars. Thanks for <laughs> yes. narrowing that down. Yesterday, civilians making the ultimate sacrifice for causes they don't even fully understand. We have what do we, they what know what the cause is. Yeah. 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 This is humanity. not the same as Vietnam. It's not Vietnam. <laughs> I mean, I doubt you're being so based as to say that if communism wins, it's the extinction of humanity. I, I assume that's not what you meant. But yeah, the, the people here know exactly what they mean. They mean? They're like like the, the aliens and like... Mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's been years of doing this stuff. It's like, yeah, we're trying to just stop the end of the world. I, I like the yeah. idea that someone's like, mm, I, think, I think something else is going on. I think these aliens are actually yeah. trying to help us. It's a little bit different from, like, a proxy war from the fucking Cold War. Enemies Ugh. are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. What? Like the Vietnamese? Whoa! Like, Whoa! Like, Whoa! like, like Asians? Like, like Asians? Is that what you meant? An alien race? Like, you know, those like Phil Bento folk? Fucking like, oh pump God, the brakes, my dude. Jesus. Jesus, Quentin. <laughs> you can't say that. What? <laughs> Damn. Like... <laughs> <laughs> God fucking hell. <laughs> this video just got fucking amazing. What did he say exactly? <laughs> Jeez. What's the coin? Let's let's Who's get the it. Coin? the ultimate sacrifice for causes they don't even fully understand. We have enemies that are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. We have enemies that are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. Dude. Oh my goodness. Bruce Why would you say this while talking about Vietnam? <laughs> The war that was fought between people. The, that's one of my favorite video essay quotes ever. An enemy in relation to Vietnam. An enemy so unlike us, they're basically an alien race. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's amazing. I can't believe he wrote that. He said that. But I guess I'm just wondering how he didn't catch that it's like, wait a minute, I'm talking about like human beings. <laughs> like, actual like human beings just like me. <laughs> You see, the, the thing when we when we talk about racism, it's just like a joke, and it doesn't actually mean anything, and it it, it goes under the assumption that it isn't true, and it's just playing off as yeah, that like we all, all we all but, just know it's just yeah, known that like but, racism is bad. But he says this shit, and he's like, you know what? I'm making a damn good point. <laughs> I just feel like he, he 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 made a mistake. He made a really big sustained mistake. He, 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 he pulled a up. Quentin with the Ewoks, is what he did. <laughs> he did a Quentin <laughs> with the Ewoks. Someone in chat said, "Wow, we're not even a different species. We're an alien race." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't even get the credit of being a different species. We have yeah. to be from another planet. <laughs> and of course, it's kind of amusing to say this about the people who were invaded, rather than. Like the, uh. Dude, I fucking All love right. the idea that there's someone out there in the Vietnam War that was like, you know, these Vietnamese, I'm not sure they're from Earth. <laughs> I'm not sure that they're from Earth. They're from the planet Vietnam. They uh. say them food and everyone looks at, at the guy's like, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, see, he's gone cuckoo. He's been here too long. There's too many. There's too many layers to this video. I have no fucking clue what's what's satire and what's uh, honest, but that quote was phenomenal. Incredible. This video for me is Amazing. like I, I, I wanted to sleep like an hour ago, but this video is so bizarre. I just <laughs> need to see how it ends. It's so surreal. <laughs> 
I'm so fucking tired, it makes it even funnier. You have to see where civilian. this journey takes us. <laughs> yeah. It's making the ultimate sacrifice for causes they don't even fully understand. We have enemies that are so unlike us that they're basically an alien race. <laughs> Is he? Oh my god, the aliens are speaking Vietnamese! Is, 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 yeah, is he like actually playing the aliens speaking Vietnamese? Is that what's happening here? Maybe it's. Yeah, I. Maybe. So the, the, we're at the Keep point where I don't know if he is making an incredibly edgy joke or he is this unaware of what he's fucking doing. <laughs> I wanna, I, I want him to the, the he's in that stairwell and he shines the light up at the alien. And it just says, "GI, go home." <laughs> oh no, American! <laughs> just oh no, American! They sent Super boy cool. to fight man war. <laughs> this is so insensitive. <laughs> I don't know what else to say? It's like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And the point I'm trying to get across oh isn't God. necessarily that one all-encompassing identity automatically improves your movement. Why did you but more do? So why did you do this? Why, why did you? This why? Here? What have you what done? Why? <laughs> why did you have the video come back here? I <laughs> take this. But why? <laughs> Too much. But why it's though? Ends. Also, I'm pretty sure that was all by accident. I'm pretty sure he did not mean to say the things that he said. He didn't mean to do that. I don't think he did mean to do that. It's just a big mistake that he didn't pick up on. God, it's so good. <laughs> I can believe he's dumb enough that he didn't even know that. Oh, this is totally a character. Believe, like, all, all of us. I would love to write a character like this where they just so, like, just. Dull when it comes to understanding the shit that they say, that you just have someone have to listen to them and be like, what the fuck? And he's just like, yeah, you know, it's kind of interesting when you look at movies this way. You don't know, see the allegories. You know, like Asian people, they're kind of like aliens. Ooh, it's the spookiest time of year, and what's more suitable than EFAP celebrating with a brand new set of terrifying plushies? Introducing the EFAP Halloween plushie set. Starting with Mauler the Longpire, a terrifying monster of bloodthirst and long. This cuddly beast is both infamous and primal in his desire to drain the very soul from the world of media. And he's coming for you. But he's not alone. How could the long pyre be complete without his trusty doggo? Ragzolantern! Poised charmingly in his pumpkin, your Ragzolantern will be there to offer his support and encouragement and sarcastic commentary to all your endeavors. This gourd-adorned Shiba Inu will give your pumpkin patch a pantalooned pooch's worth of company and of course, both of these fine fiendish fellows are joined by yet another. Though his eyes may have all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, Fringy the Raven will gladly perch atop your couch, cuddly and at the ready. This Corvid ventures nowhere without his scythe, and he's more than ready to slash his way through all obstacles. But not without the final member of this cutthroat cohort. Hear the bell as it strikes the hour of the wolf. When the midnight sky is red, a beast shall emerge from the forest to plunder your local pizza parlor. Behold, the dreaded werewolf, complete with the sunken eyes of a beast who avoids the searing heat of the sun, carrying with him a slice of his latest victim. This legend of the night will surely be a fantastic addition to this crew of dark demons and pumpkin playmates. But that's not all, no sir. Have you ever left home only to worry you're leaving the members of your favorite podcast behind? Do you despair when Mauler's commentary, Fringy's laughs, Wolf's fury, or Rags's puns aren't around anymore? Well, anguish no longer. Now you can stay warm and cozy during those chilly autumn days while constantly explaining to everyone that no, it's not electronic fapping, I swear. Introducing the official Every Frame a Pause Halloween hoodie. Perfect for lounging around indoors, shopping, long walks on the pier, weddings, baby showers, funerals, Halloween. 
Christmas, complete with the expected furnishings of the season as well as some gorgeous artwork by Black Soul Odin. The EFAP hoodie is ready to keep you warm and comfy through those winter months. There may even be a surprise guest on the back. Pick up yours today, because once the campaign ends, it'll be gone for good. And don't forget Mola the Longpire, Rags o' Lantern, Fringy the Raven, and Werewolf. Completing the EFAP Halloween set. For every item you pick up together, the discount will increase. Be sure about what you'd like before it's too late, as the spooky season will not last forever. Find them all at makeship.com forward slash shop forward slash EFAP. All links can be found in the description. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting the show. We will see you next time. <laughs>